Hi Church, welcome to this week's devotions. My name's Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and I'm going to be taking you through the next five days looking at Barmy Bible stories. I want to read to you from Acts 20 verse 7 to 11 and you can uh, read this yourself as well. And it says this, on the first day of the week we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. There was many lamps in the upstairs rooms where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down threw himself upon the young man and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said. He's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. This week, we continue our devotional journey looking at balmy Bible stories, the events, the moments that seem implausible, incredible, mad, crazy, or a Marvel movie moment that actually happened in the Bible. They make us laugh, cry, and ask why. But we know, but what we know is that they happened. And God has a story of glory behind them, in them, and through them. This week, we're going to look at the story of Eutychus, who fell asleep in a sermon. He was so sound asleep that he fell from the third story window he was sitting in and died. Wow, this is crazy. The scripture says that they picked him up dead. Over the next five days, we will look into this balmy Bible story and find out what to do in a crisis. The different types of people in a crisis, some calm, uh, some ready because they're prepared for every eventuality. Some fall apart in the crisis. Some stay calm, not because they're prepared. Instead, it's because they're just able to intuit intuitively know what to do. Which one are you? Maybe ask yourself that question right now because we've all been in a crisis, faced a crisis. Life happens. Are we prepared for what life can throw at us? No one plans to have a crisis, but we need to be, have a plan for crisis. Paul found himself in the middle of a crisis and we can learn from this balmy Bible story of what to do when crisis comes. The first thing we can do in a crisis that we see here with Paul is to stop. It says that Paul stopped talking in a social media obsessed, airbrushed, edited, selfie talking society. It's become quite hard to admit that you're struggling. The best thing to do in a, in a crisis or when things go wrong is to stop and start with acknowledging the moment and face the facts. M recognize you're in a crisis. Recognizing that you're in a crisis or heading towards one is not as fine as it feels. Don't brush it under the carpet. Considering it a failure is, is not what Abraham did. In Romans 4, 18 to 19, he says this, against all hope, Abraham, in hope, believed and so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a 100 years old and Sarah's womb was dead. There is a sense that sometimes in an environment of faith, you can't feel or think and definitely not say that it's bad or hard, leading to a feeling of being fake or having imposter syndrome. However, faith is not denial. Faith is not the absence of fear, but choosing to do it anyway with a confidence that can only come from him. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and an assurance of what we do not see. Step one then is stop. Recognize you're in where you are and what's going on. Apply faith and put your confidence in God. Have a great day. Church, and I will see you tomorrow for step two of what to do in a crisis.